Tis the season for holiday travel, and it's supposed to be a crazy season for it. And this is Chick to Chick. They talk about the hustle and bustle of the holidays. This year, I think it's literally going to be the hustle to the airport, the bustle to get in the car, because I think people are finally excited about going away for the holidays. Yeah, it's going to be completely different because this is really the first time in a couple of years that there really virtually are no COVID restrictions out there nationally or internationally. I think a lot of people have the bug. They Mm -hmm. want to travel. They want to go places. And so they are expecting planes, trains, automobiles to be a little crazy and a lot busy this year. (laughs) So you need to buckle up and be prepared for this. Literally buckle up. And we have someone who is really going to navigate this for us. You see how we're doing the navigation? Yeah, I got you. I got (laughs) you. We have Brenda Elliott and she is with Elliott Excursions. We're so happy to have you. And we hope that you can give us a lot of advice because I think people are on the move. Can you tell us what you're experiencing? Absolutely. People are on the move. We have had two years of We've, we've had travel picking up, but for two years, it was nothing like it is now. We have the biggest travel boom in 40 years. So wow. when you think about that, the biggest travel are boom in 40 years, you said, and does that encompass yes. flying, uh, cars, everything, the every mode of filling up again. everything is filling up again. Um, and people don't realize it. People are thinking they're still going to get those last minute sales that were happening for two years. Mm-hmm. And they're not. Things yeah. are booked up. So if you think you're traveling for the holiday to a, a destination that's international, think about that you probably aren't going to get on a plane because they are booked. They're booked. That's interesting because so usually, you know, you wait until the last minute yeah. and you can get the yeah. last minute mm-hmm. deals. And you're telling us no deal, no deal. This year. No deal for the holiday. If you want to go before holiday or after holiday, that's always been low season for the year. Anytime that there are children out of school is high season. And then when the children go back to school, um, it's low season. So right before high season is really low. So think about if you could move those holiday plans to the week before Christmas, or the week after Christmas, you might be golden. We might be able to find you something really amazing. So where are you finding people are gravitating towards? Are they staying here domestically or are they going international since, like Laura just said, that's now been, you know, those those restrictions are now lifted? They, um, completely opposite the last two years where the national parks filled like crazy for two years, they are, they're out of here. They're going to... (laughs) Caribbean, they're going to Italy, they're going all over the world. Um, they're no longer here in the United States. They're thinking, you know what? Like you said meant earlier, COVID restrictions are lifted. They can go freely. You know, and that's interesting because we thought maybe because of the economy that mm-hmm. maybe people would like dial it back and not travel. You know, I, I just like look around and it's like hotels, five hundred dollars a night. Mm-hmm. Exactly. There, you know, two thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Isn't is the economy having any type of an impact, slowing this down? And no prices. With no, the- no, no. So people are paying more than they've ever paid before. When we get a phone call, one of the first things we ask our travelers are, "What budget do you have?" And we have noticed budgets are 50 to 100% higher than they were before COVID. So they've saved that money for two years on travel. And now they think, you know what? We're ready. Nope, we deserve it. What are some of the hottest places that people are drawn towards? Because even though they can't get it booked now, obviously, because it's filled up for the holiday, where is everybody going? Because hopefully after the holidays, or if somebody can do it, you said beforehand, um, is there anything available? Where should they go? Okay, so the places that people are going are places that are nonstop flights because we all know what the airline industry has been doing in the last 
even just recently. It's, it's been horrible. Non-stop flights to travel during the winter season, which means we only have so many. We can't fly out of Harrisburg, but we can fly out of Baltimore. We can fly out of Philadelphia. And they're going to the islands that are all-inclusive resorts so they can go relax with their family, relax with their loved one. And they're going to be there in three to four hours. So think Mexico, Cancun, Riviera Maya, uh, think Jamaica. We can get there nonstop from Baltimore and Philadelphia. And the Dominican Republic has always been a place that the people in this area like to travel to. It's such a bang for your buck destination. So those are the places that people with families are going over the holidays. People who are couples, uh, they're going completely across the ocean. So we actually do have some nonstop flights to places like... Um, Portugal, and the value is amazing there. Italy, people are doing Iceland like never before. They want to see, people are checking off those bucket list places is what it is. They, they've always wanted to see the Northern Lights and they're going to do it now. And those places are amazing with rates, amazing. That's all, that's good to know. So we know where the hotspots are. We know that people are like, we'll pay. We will go anywhere. We, get out. we need to go. <laughs> we know that it's going to be crazy. And when you're traveling with young children, it can be a little yes. stressful. So give us a uh, to help families okay. navigate the holidays and, and navigate travel better. What are some tips? Okay. So your books for the holidays, you have your children, the things that you want to do, you want to make sure that you double check your seats have been assigned on a plane. Because although you might have assigned them six months ago when you booked this Christmas travel, things that they've changed the um, planes that they're using, and it bumps your seats out. And with all of the holiday travel, you have to think about this. Christmas week is the most traveled week to anywhere in the world. Always has been and always will be. That means there are some people are going to get bumped from flights that aren't canceled. They're still going, but they overbooked them. Double check those seats. Make sure you pack things for the children in case there's a delay, um, in case they're bumped. Make sure you have activities for them, snacks for them, even pillows in case it's a long delay. And some people have very long delays. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is that TSA PreCheck just went on sale for the first time ever. So it's $78 for five years of TSA PreCheck. Wow. And they did it for the holidays so that people can do that. If you can do that, go online, you enroll, you can go to an enrollment center very near us. There's some in Hershey, in Harrisburg. Do the TSA pre-check so that you don't have to worry about taking off shoes, taking off the jackets, taking your laptops out, all of that stuff. You can skip all of that with TSA pre-check. And the other thing is make sure that if you used a travel agent to book your trip, make sure they have that number so that yeah. they can load it for you. Um, you may not remember in the hustle and bustle of the holidays and with your kids, you may not remember things like the TSA number on your ticket or your frequent flyer number on a ticket, things like that. So make sure when you book things, and even if you've already booked, call your travel agent. If you're just now you know, being reminded, call them and say, hey, I forgot to give you these numbers. Can you please get them on my reservation? So let's talk about using a travel agent versus just booking your whole trip. Mm -hmm online. Um, it's really popular to just book trips online mm -hmm. uh, and not use a travel agent. And lately, we know what's been going on with the airline industry. Flights are canceled. Mm -hmm. They're delayed. Uh, you know, you've got not to figure enough. this out. Pilots, what's the yeah. benefit of using a travel agent versus just booking online? Okay. So there are so many benefits. And the first one is that you don't pay for a travel agent. And people may not realize that. So the travel agent Right away from the very start in booking your trip, the travel agent has access to so many vendors that you may never have even heard of. And we can compare the pricing and get you the best pricing to begin with. But then, as we saw in, I'll tell you, in 2020, if you didn't have a travel agent and your trip was canceled in March of 2020, you were on the phone for 15, 16 hours 
mm-hmm. waiting to get through. If you had a travel agent, you called the travel agent and they were the ones, and believe me, we were on hold for all of those hours, but you don't pay for that service. It's, it's just part of being a travel agent. So those are really big benefits. The other thing is we make sure you know, do you need a visa? to go to Portugal or to Africa or these specials that we're selling you on. And we know that COVID restrictions are lifted for the other countries, but what our travelers don't know is if they book a tour through some of the tour operators that are having sales, those tour operators require you to be vaccinated. Mm-hmm. And if you if you wanna take a bus trip in the United States, most of them require for you to have a COVID vaccine. So you might not have to have it in that country, but you have to have it for those tour operators. So those are things you would not know if you did not have a travel agent. Things like, what kind of shots do I need? Do, you know, what other restrictions are there? So those are the things that we are responsible for. And it it helps. Okay, yeah, those are good. That's very good advice. How important is getting travel insurance? It's very important now. I will tell you before COVID, we probably had only two or 3% of people take insurance. Since COVID, we have about 95% of people taking the insurance. Wow, okay. And it's because, I'll tell you, um, if you cancel a trip without insurance, you can lose every penny that you put into it. And during COVID, when that happened, even when they canceled, you lost a lot of money. So um, what they sell now, covers cancel for any reason at all. And people may not realize it, but COVID is still here. And we're still seeing people cancel their trips every single week. We have people canceling their trips because their family got COVID. And when you buy a travel insurance, that's a cancel for any reason in travel insurance. That means all you have to do is call us up and say, hey, we need to cancel. And you get you get your money refunded to you, either in the form of back to your credit card or future trip credit. But the other thing is that travel insurance covers during travel. So when your flights are canceled and you really want this vacation, and I'm going to tell you, honestly, it happened to me this year, you can buy a new airline ticket. The insurance covers it. So with our family of seven, we were going to the Dominican Republic for Easter. Our flights were canceled at 3.30 in the morning. We were able to get online buy seven new tickets. We had to stay in Baltimore an extra night because we couldn't get a ticket until the next day. But the travel insurance covers all of those airline tickets, your hotel room in Baltimore, all of the meals that we ate, the the night that we missed. If we didn't have, it was $4,500. Wow. So, So when you look at how many flights are canceled and it's constant, it's constant flight cancellation, and especially out of our local airport. Um, we are delayed so often that we miss connections when we travel from Harrisburg. So um, travel insurance is very important to cover those things during travel. Brenda, you just gave us some really, really great information to help us get through the holiday season. And it sounds like it's going to be a crazy one. So it's going to be crazy. It was great. <laughs> Thanks for coming Thank on the podcast for coming with us. us. Thank you. Absolutely. Okay, so we know it's going to be crazy. We know the hot spots. We know no deals out there. And we know that people are going to pay big, big bucks. So what I want to know is when are you going to Italy? (sighs) After Christmas. (laughs) I'm listening to Brenda. I'm going to wait and go after Christmas. That's pretty smart. That's a pretty smart plan. Well, we appreciate you being with us today. Head over to our YouTube page, like and subscribe. And until we are back to chirp about another topic. (music) Thank <music> you.